everybody and welcome to the FEAP Distinctions presentation for Australia 2020. This year has brought a unique set of challenges, both for our photography and indeed this event today. Whilst normally the FEAP Distinctions presentations would be done at our annual convention, the huge distances within Australia mean we often only have a small number of our distinctions recipients at the formal presentations. This year, with all such events cancelled, I would like to focus on the positive, that being that many more recipients have been able to participate this year via this online meeting. In fact, we have nearly triple that of last year's attendances. The online format has also enabled us to invite our very special guest. Other than our distinctions recipients, we are joined by all the APS Management Committee, and it is a huge pleasure to have Ricardo Bussi, the President, join us here today. I'll introduce Ricardo to you in a minute, but first I would invite the President of the Australian Photographic Society, Margaret O'Grady, to formally welcome you. Margaret, if you'd like to unmute yourself, and the microphone is yours. Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'll just uh, say a few words um, this afternoon. On behalf of the Australian Photographic Society, I'd like to welcome you all to the 2020 Australian FIAP Distinctions Presentation Ceremony. And I would like to extend a very special welcome to President of FIAP, Riccardo Bussi, who has joined us from Italy today. This is a truly historic occasion as it's happening in FIAP's 70th anniversary year. FIAP and APS have enjoyed a long and successful association extending back to 1950 when FIAP was first formed by a Queensland photographic organisation that later became part of APS when it was formed in 1962. I had a quick peek at the APS records this morning and I saw that 16 people were awarded AFIAP and 13 EFIAP in 1960. So it's indeed been a long and very special relationship between the two organisations. Of course, the distinctions and competition patronage systems are not the only part of what FIAP does. And I know that many of you have participated in events such as the World Cup for clubs, the biennial competitions, and more recently, the We Stay Home competition that has been run this year while we've all been in various stages of lockdown. These events present a wonderful way for, fear, for, sorry, for Australian uh, photographers, photographers to connect with the global photographic community and are highly valued. For many years, communication between APS and FIAP was by snail mail. And yes, it took weeks. And then email came along so much quicker and easier. And we all thought it was so magical when it was introduced. But now today, we're able to have Ricardo with us to present the um, distinctions live this afternoon. So a truly special occasion, and I'm sure it will be the first of many such events. I'd like to say a very special congratulations to all the recipients this year, and especially to those who are online this afternoon. And now I'd like to hand back to Bronwyn, who will introduce our special guest. Thank you. Thanks, Margaret. Now I would like to give an especially warm welcome to Riccardo Bussi, who joins us from Italy. Riccardo has been FIAT president since 2012 and is an incredibly hardworking and dedicated ambassador of photography. He embodies the aim of FIAT to promote photographic art in all its aspects, through all kinds of photographic events, setting aside considerations of politics, ideology, race or religion. He is passionate about strengthening and uniting the bond between photographers around the world and in what is commonly referred to as the great FIAP family. Everyone here today is part of that FIAP family. It can be easy to forget that at the heart of organisations such as FIAP, it is a team of incredibly hardworking volunteers who dedicate much of their lives to photography and photographers. This year, FIAP celebrates its 70th year and it would be fair to say that 2020 is not the year that was expected. There is no doubt that all FIAP activities have experienced unique challenges and the workload and time commitment that comes with that. So I'm sure that you will understand how thrilled I was when Ricardo said he'd be able to join us today to personally announce the names 
of this year's Australian FIAP Distinctions recipients. Welcome to the FIAP Distinctions presentations in Australia, Ricardo. I now invite you to give your greeting to everybody here. You'll need to just unmute yourself. Mr. President, member of the Board of Directors, dear friends of the Australian Photographic Society, good afternoon. It's a great pleasure for me to be here with you all for this important event at such a difficult time, not only for the great FIAP family, but for the whole human race. Allow me, therefore, before anything else, to address a special thought and a prayer for all the many friends who have left us, too many. We are facing a very difficult challenge, but I'm sure that together we will succeed. Dear friends of the Australian Photographic Society, events such as yours are an incredible example for all the federations around the world. They make us feel closer, more united and stronger. And I'm also sure that these new technologies and this new way of living our common passion will continue to exist in the future when we will return to our normal life. They will help us to build a wider photo network, always more focused on global communication, your friendship, your incredible organization skills, your creativity, and no surprise to me, deep at the bonds of a friendship that bind us. And in the, this regard, I would like to recall with a great pleasure the great work done by our precious Australian members, such as Albert Andrews, Andrew Gibson, Tim Newbery, director of the FIAP Nature Commission, Bert Oveling, and now our dear volcanic friend, Brian Casey, FIAP liaison officer and my precious director of our online magazine, FIAP News. Therefore, once again, my most sincere congratulations to all of you, and today in particular, to all the world authors, hoping that uh, obtaining these distinctions will only be a starting point for other and prestigious purposes. Hoping to attend one day the same ceremony in your beautiful country that I had the great pleasure to visit many years ago always remaining one of my most beautiful memories. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, Ricardo. <laughs> There's a, a series of applause happening across the screen there, <laughs> all of which are muted. <laughs> okay, I want to just quickly cover a couple of little housekeeping things before we kick off any further. You are all on mute at present to unmute yourself. As most of you know, it's the little symbol in the bottom left-hand corner, but please leave yourself muted unless it's at a point when you're required to speak. Please also bear in mind that at all times you can be seen and that this is being recorded and will be shown to the wider APS membership at a later date. The, when we come to the presentations, I'm going to be showing the slideshow of the images, they will be in groups. So it will be AFIAP, followed, then we'll pause to announce the people who've received their AFIAP. The following groups will be EFIAP, the AV EFIAP, then the bronze to gold levels will be together and the diamond levels will be done together. And that's just a numbers breakdown. Um, I, Ricardo will be announcing the names of those people who are currently present and I will announce those that are not. I, the, I suggest that you may like to be in either, you will either be in speaker view or in gallery view and that is up towards the top right hand corner. If it is in gallery view, it will read speaker view, which is the button to switch you to speaker view. You can swap between that. It just means that the person who's speaking will come up as a bigger face on screen. If you stay in gallery view, you will see all of us. At the end of the presentations, uh, I will be, we will be taking some screenshots of the group, as close as we can get to a group photo. 
and then we will be inviting Ricardo to once again speak to all of you, this time on the topic of Masters of Master of the FIAP, of FIAP which is the, uh, the portfolio distinction that we currently have three Australian MFIAP recipients and hopefully we'll have more in the not too distant future. Uh, that there will be an opportunity there to ask Ricardo questions and he's happy to answer them for you. So, without further ado, we'll proceed. In order to honour eminent personalities known in the field of photography, the International Federation of Photographic Art, known as FIAP, award distinctions for photographic artists known for their artistic work in photographic or audiovisual visual artistry and for those who by their work or achievements have contributed to the progress of FIAP by their services. Only achievements in international salons run with FIAP patronage can be counted for FIAP distinctions. National federations affiliated with FIAP, such as the Australian Photographic Society, can put forward candidates for these distinctions. The final decision on whether or not a FIAP distinction is awarded rests with FIAP. This year, the Australian Photographic Society had 35 successful applicants for FIAP distinctions for photographic artistry. Today, we acknowledge and celebrate the, the, their achievement. The FIAP distinction Artist FIAP, AFIAP, is the first artistic distinction that can be obtained. A successful candidate must have obtained at least 40 acceptances with 15 different images in 15 salons in eight different countries. I'll now show a slideshow of the images they submitted for their AFIAP. Just so you know, there won't actually be any music with this. We decided to play a little bit safe and make sure we didn't have problems with the technology.
Okay. I will, Ricardo will announce your names one at a time. When he calls out your name, please, please speak up, wave your certificate, show us that you've got it and, and acknowledge verbally so that those on speak of you see you. Ricardo, the list is yours. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The following people have been awarded their ACIP. Wade Buchan. Thank you. <laughs> don't I, don't know if you, I don't know if you want to speak or anything. <laughs> <laughs> and Wade's done the right thing. He has unmuted himself to say hello. Um, I just want to actually say thank you to all our verification officers, the volunteers, to Bronwyn that does a very hard job for everybody, that, and everyone from APS and FIAT that makes it possible for us to get this, these achievements. So thank you. Thank you. Sharon Lepin. Um, thank you very much and, um, and a big thank you also to Bronwyn for all of the work that she does um, with the verification for, for our honours. This being my first step was um, not the easiest thing for me to get a grasp on and um, after Bronwyn's help it was quite easy. So thank you very much and thank you Ricardo. Thank you to you. Marie Morris. Oh, I don't know if you can see the certificate, but it's there. There we go. Again, thank you, everybody. And like Sharon, I had struggles getting around the requirements, thinking I had it all. And then when I went and checked, I thought, no, I'm nowhere near the particular requirements needed. So it was a big learning curve for me also. So a good first step. And again, thank you, Bronwyn and all, for the work you do. Mm. Thank you. Martin Newland. You have Martin. Where's Martin gone? Oh, there he is. Martin, you need to unmute yourself. Down in the bottom left hand corner, Martin. Or hold your shift key down is the other way you hold your space bar down is the other way you'll be able to be heard. There we go. Ah, that's better. Um, thank you, Ricardo. And uh, thanks to Bronwyn for helping me through the traumas of filling out that Excel spreadsheet. Um, <laughs> as I think it was John Hodgson once said, it's easy to take the photos, but filling out that spreadsheet is very difficult. So thank you, and there is the certificate. Trace O'Rourke. Okay, thank you, Ricardo, for being with us today. It is a pleasure having you here. And thank you to Roman for all your hard work and um, helping me get to this first stage. Thank you. Thank you to you. Susanna Sweeter. Thank you. I'd also like to thank Bronwyn for her help and patience along the way. Yes, taking the photos and doing the competitions is the easy part. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Jane Woodcock. <gasps> Thank you, Ricardo, and thank you to Bronwyn. You are so patient. Um, yeah. it's, it's obvious, it was our first effort, and you made a, a lot of fun. So thank you all very much, and there's my certificate. <laughs> thank you for you. <laughs> and, and, and David <laughs> Woodcock. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, all I can... All I can do is really echo what James said. Thank you all very much. <laughs> oh, great family. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, we have a, number, a, few, a couple of people who unfortunately couldn't join us today who also received their AFIAP. That's Corliss Gustafson and Mark Stevens. Moving on to EFIAP. The Distinction Excellence FIAP, known as EFIAP, is awarded to photographic artists who, apart from having excellent techniques, have significant numbers of their works often accepted in many international salons under FIAP patronage. A successful candidate must have obtained at least 250 acceptances with at least 50 different images in 30 salons in 20 countries. At least two of their images must have gained an award. I'll now show you the images of the EFIAP recipients. Okay. I'll give you the floor again to announce our EFIAP recipients. So the following people have been awarded their EFIAP. Julie Beck. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bronwyn. Thank you, Ricardo. Also, thanks to Brian Cohn, because he's our verifier out at Geelong. So I really appreciate it. Thank you for Bronwyn for persevering with emails. So thank you, thank you and here's oh. my certificate. So thank you, thank you. So now finally an easy name for me, Mario Mirabile. Grazie Riccardo. There you uh, go. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to thank uh, everyone at uh, FIAP and the APS, um, especially Bronwyn and uh, Peter Calder who, who does the, uh, the verifications for me. Um, and uh, it's, it's good to have an avenue to sort of 
put our work out in the world and, and, and give it a wider audience. And uh, it's, it's, it's you know, great that FIAP gives us this avenue. So there's the certificate. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Heather Prince. Um, oh, okay. I'd be, I'll join the list and thank Bronwyn. She's got the patience of a saint and all of our very verifying officers um, that I've had through this journey, fantastic. I went at it with a great rush, did it quickly, and I thank my husband who didn't see me for a year. And, and um, also Michelle and Michael Stokey, who set me off on this path. So. Wow. <laughs> Okay, now as I will go through the people who were unfortunately unable to join us. Also recipients of EFIAP were Peter Barian, Gregory Chan, Sing Kai Chung, Nadia Filiaji, Hong Kam Yuen, and Karen Wilshaw. We now move on to the EFIAP for audiovisuals, Excellence Audiovisual. This is awarded to authors who, apart from having an excellent technique and an abundant production, have often been accepted into many international audiovisual events with a worldwide reputation under fiat patronage. A successful candidate must have obtained at least 50 acceptances with at least 20 different audiovisual sequences in at least 18 international events under fiat patronage in at least six different countries. We had, we've got one recipient of this distinction and I'm, he, with, unlike the people who are under submitting via images, they, John has had to submit two AVs and I'm going to show you one of those two now. I guess the writing's been on the wall for a while now. I've been thinking back to when we first paired up. It must be, what, eight years ago? Your predecessor had a pretty good run, but you know how it is. As soon as I saw you, I knew you were the one. Our first time out together was to the beach, wasn't it? You looked fantastic, and everyone who saw you was seriously envious. But things moved to a whole new level when I took you to New Zealand for the first time and we photographed that magical dawn at Lake Wanaka. There were so many awesome trips to follow. The Cinque Terre, staying in that little hotel and roaming the narrow streets with you until dark. The day we spent at On Fleur, exploring the old harbour and the amazing heritage buildings around it. Great memories too of those weeks in the Greek islands. Maybe the high point of our time together. You were in your element in that brilliant photographic light. I can remember getting a bit drunk in that little taverna on Santorini and finding some of the locals paying you way too much attention. Those two trips to Africa really tested our relationship. Sometimes you were pushed to your limits, especially when we got up close to wild animals. And you did get snappy a couple of times, but you coped amazingly well, 
and I never once regretted taking you with me. Our trips to the Australian outback were also fabulous. It was landscape central out there, and I was hugely impressed by the way you handled rough conditions week after week, even though I know you were allergic to dust. Like most long-term relationships, it hasn't all been plain sailing. I haven't forgotten not being able to get you to go on that camera club outing up to the Flinders last year. And just lately, you have become fairly high maintenance. All in all though, it's been a great partnership and I'll have fond memories of our time together. But all good things come to an end and it's time to say goodbye. I'm afraid I can't resist the appeal of a younger, slimmer body, and you have to admit that by current standards, you are a little hefty. I know, I know, the pot calling the kettle black and all that. I know I've stacked on a few extra kilos of late, so I'm sure you'll appreciate the irony here. I've finally decided to go mirrorless. <laughs> a little twist at the end. Uh, <laughs> John now has a mirrorless camera instead of his heavy, his heavy <laughs> so, camera. <laughs> so now we have a new AV EFIAP that is uh, John Hobson. Thank you very much, Ricardo. I'm delighted you were able to be with us today. It's fantastic. I'd like to thank you. Thank you for doing the presentations. I'd like to thank Bronwyn for all the effort she puts into uh, organising the Australian end of uh, FIAP, and in particular, the huge effort that's gone into producing today's event. So thank you, Bronwyn, and there's my certificate. Thank you. I should give a little thank you to John himself here because uh, John was on the receiving end of a few panicked phone calls as I grappled with a new piece of software to replace my 2012 Pro Show Gold that wasn't going to be able to do what I wanted today. So thank you, John. Pleasure, Bron. Now we'll move on to our EFIAP levels. The EFIAP levels on a photographic artist who, after receiving the EFIAP distinction, continue to actively participate in international salons under FIAP patronage, and by doing so, help to promote photography with their new artistic production. FIAP has instituted seven additional levels for this purpose. And I will show you the images. We didn't have a platinum level this year. Uh, but I will show you the images from the bronze, silver and gold recipients.
Ricardo, your mic is on. <laughs> yes, thank you very much indeed. And uh, so we have a new IFIA bronze that is uh, Dinesh Pereira. Now, I think Dinesh has been unable to rejoin us. Dinesh was attempting to join. Unfortunately, Dinesh is caught overseas, unable to return to Australia. And okay. obviously hasn't so got we, it. So, so we I'll, can go to the IFIA silver. Uh, I'll announce the other bronze people first. So the two, the, for the other two bronze recipients were Lou Marafiotti and Paul Thompson. And for silver, Ricardo. Well, <clears throat> the first name of uh, our IFIAP silver is a very well known person, is uh, Brown Casey. <laughs> There it is, much as these background things on Zoom do funny things. <laughs> Thank you, Congratulations. Special to have it awarded by you. <laughs> Congratulations. Then we go to Young English. Oh, I get, hello. Hello. Uh, I, I've not seen my picture, but I guess that's fine. Ricardo, it's an honor to have you do the presentation. It's, uh, it, it, it's, it's, re it's really wonderful. Thank you so much. And Bronwyn, yes, I want to reiterate what everybody said about, uh, about your patience and uh, your thoroughness too. It's fantastic. And uh, um, all of the verifying officers as well, who've, um, when, when you start to get up, up higher in the levels, the job becomes much more complicated. And uh, and uh, Neville Foster's mine, and he's he's been wonderful. So thank you, everybody. And um, there's my certificate. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Then we go to Jan Sharpholz. A difficult name. Jan, do we? Do we? Here I am. Here I am. Can you see me? Yes, we can. Because oh. I can't see me. Yes, now oh, yes. Thank you very, very much. This is a great privilege indeed, especially to Ricardo for coming, sitting there all this way overseas. And, and to Brahman, I couldn't do without you and I can't do without my, um, without Denise North either. Um, thank you to everyone and to my friends who sort of pushed me along a bit. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Can you see it? <laughs> yes. Another one for the cupboard. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. So then we go to Michel Stucky. Hello, I'd like to thank you, Ricardo, also for promising. But I'd also like to thank my husband. I failed um, the written work 110%. My, Michael did all the recordings of my photographs. He's now become very Eddie the expert, but he is very good. And I'd like to publicly thank him for all that he's done. I had the pleasure of taking the photographs and he did a very good job. So thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Now I'll announce the people who got silver who haven't been able to join us. That is Craig Parker and Linda Y. And for the gold level, Ricardo. Yes, for the IFIAP gold, we have Pia Johnson. Thank you very much. Now, Michelle actually forgot to hold up her certificate. Do you need a photo? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> so somebody do a screenshot of that. <laughs> okay. So I was meandering through my levels and I decided to make about this time last year to make a last minute dash or a bit of a sprint for gold. And that was interrupted for a bit there, but at the end of the day, I got there really with the help of Bronwyn going through some of those crazy catalogues that go back quite a few years. So 
you know, we've all mentioned Bronwyn, but we've mentioned her for a reason. You know, she has made the task of putting together those forms um, and making sure that they go through absolutely correctly. Um, just so much easier. And I do want to thank you a great deal for that, Bronwyn, not just for myself, but for everybody else. And of course, Denise North is an absolute marvel as well. Everybody who is involved with the honour system um, from submission, submission verifying all the way through have been absolutely fabulous. And I particularly want to thank uh, Ricardo. Thank you so much for coming along today. That is a great pleasure to have you here. See your smiling face from across the world. Um, and thank you. And this is my, yeah. Thank you to you and congratulations again. And uh, then we have another EC of gold, that is uh, Kim Wellmold. Thank you very much, Ricardo. There's my certificate. Um, it is an honor to have the presentation done by you. Um, and thank you also for your very heartfelt speech at the beginning. That was very meaningful and lovely. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank John Chapman, my verifier. He was awesome. And everybody today who's picking up your awards that's an honour, that's wonderful. And I'm staggered that anybody else has been able to thank Bronwyn because she gave me so much help. I don't know how she had time for the rest of you. Thank you, Bronwyn. Congratulations again. Okay, there were no EFIAP Platinum level recipients this year. So we move on to our diamond levels. The three EFIP diamond levels have only been offered since 2016 and are only for achievements gained since the EFIAP Platinum level was awarded. Only awards are counted. There were no Diamond 1 level recipients this year. However, we did have Diamond 2 and Diamond 3 recipients. I'll now show you the Diamond 2 recipients. So, yes, that is a very important distinction. So if you have a diamond too, wow, congratulations to both authors, to all the authors. The first one is uh, Mika Boyton. Grazie mille Riccardo, it is That's wonderful to see you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, it's, it's a real honor to have you in Italy with us here tonight. Um, of course, but you're just in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, and I also want to thank Denise North, who's the most eagle-eyed verifying officer ever created. Um, I, every year I challenge myself to make sure that she doesn't come back with anything and every year she finds something. Um, she's amazing. So I really want to thank Denise. Thank you to Bronwyn, uh, who's been part of this for so long and so many years. I remember the first year when I got my AFB up, she helped me very much get my, uh, my prints done and everything. And I'd also like to thank the APS in general. Um, you know, being part of this whole honour system is, is fantastic. Um, obviously, you know, I've been doing it for many years and it's certainly improved my photography out of sight. So being able to, to do this is a, is a real honour and a privilege and I'm very grateful. Grazie. 
That's a thing. <laughs> and oh, <laughs> and then we have another one. Uh, if you have a diamond tool, that is uh, Grim Watson. Thanks, Ricardo. Thank you very much for officiating. And I'd also like to thank St. Bronwyn. And um, I, I feel very jealous because I thought I was the only person that Bronwyn helped. <laughs> and now I find she's been moonlighting with all you other people. Anyway, thank you very much, Bronwyn. Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you to you. Oh. Ta -da. I got this. <laughs> For EFIAP Diamond 3 level, where 200 awards with 50 images in 10 different countries is required, this year Australia had its first two recipients of EFIAP Diamond 3. Unfortunately, neither of them could be with us today. However, we, we will acknowledge them, which is Jacqueline Hammer and Joseph Tam. Uh, they were both recipients of Diamond Very good. And we will now show the images from Jacqueline and Joseph. Funnily enough, there was no rigging of which image was shown last. It was the last alphabetically, the way I've shown all of them, but it also happens to be where Ricardo comes from. <laughs> so it's, I don't know how far from home that particular location is, Ricardo. I've, so that is the end of the first part of our proceedings. However, we would now like to take some group photos with everybody on screen together and I feel free if a few of you wish to 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 do this um, and yeah you know, make sure you have all got your best smiles on because these photos they're going to go in e-news and possibly even fab news <laughs> so well, I think that brings us to a conclusion. And what can I say, Ricardo, you're an absolute gem for being here. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I think a lot of people have- um, Thank you to you all. <laughs> I think it's, uh, it, it will hopefully see some more MFIAPs as a result over coming years. And hopefully they will do a good job and make make you all smile when their set comes across <laughs> across your table, having complied with well, everything. <laughs> I want to finish uh, this uh, wonderful uh, meeting with you with uh, a very important uh, information mm -hmm. that uh, uh, I will next uh, Saturday, but for you today, um, next Saturday. I will uh, uh, introduce to everybody the new FIAP Photo Academy with uh, a lot of new events for everybody and uh, in particular for all the big FIAP family. So see you soon, my dear friends, and stay safe. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Mark, do you wish to say goodbye as well? Thank you very much, Ricardo. It's been an absolute pleasure and thank you for spending so much time with us today.
Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you. Wonderful to have you here.